Hi everyone, welcome back. Glad to have you back and sorry about not posting videos for a while. We just ended up moving. And anyways, we're getting set up now so I'll just get the videos going again. We got lots of projects planned. So the first project that I want on this our cargo trailer was my steps. I don't know if you remember before in the video but I was using this box. And it was just very tippy. You can fall pretty easy off it. So I think I've got a good solution here and I want to show it to you, see what you think, uh, see how it works out. So this is the idea, I'll show you. So this is what I decided to use. So what I wanted, if you remember, we were talking about this before, is I wanted some steps that would fold away. I didn't want to lose my cl ground clearance, you know, like if they were hanging down quite low. Uh, because you know this is pretty precious here this ground clearance that's the whole reason why I lifted the trailer and everything so it was either something that I could clip on and build but then I was pricing out just the metal alone you know I, I was looking at a couple hundred bucks just for metal uh, to make it out of aluminum so it wouldn't rust so I found this set of stairs on Amazon clearance and it's solid step I don't know you see them uh, people put them on RVs all the time. You can get them in different widths. Uh, I think 28 is this width uh, Or you can get up to 36. This is a 36 opening the door, but I've got the cabinet here so uh, 28 was the one that would fit in there it was perfect and I think it was 220 bucks or something half off of what they normally sell them for so I like this setup because it folds right up so this thing folds right up into thing will fold right up into the door and then you you close your door it's locked your stairs are gone folds out and then on the bottom there's some little feet that come out to adjust it to to where you want it so that the stairs are level so the problem that i'm finding though is uh, obviously these trailers are not built like um rvs it's got this piece of wood. I don't know if yours is like this, but the, the plywood, the three quarter inch plywood, and then my flooring is just right on top of the door opening. So uh, these things will not, this won't fit underneath the door opening here. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to um, a machine shop and I'm going to get them to bend here so that it's in a bit and then comes up and then across the floor. So I'm hoping that'll, that'll do it. Just two bends, you know, in an inch, up an inch, and then just flat. And then I'll attach this. So let's see how this works. I'm not going to take the whole set of stairs into the machine shop. I'm just going to take off uh, this, uh, this bracket right here. So I'm going to do that right now. Take off this bracket and then take it into the machine shop and see what they can do with it. I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty easy just to bend it on a brake. And uh, then we can just screw it right into place there. Okay, here we go. So we got that uh, bracket back from the machine shop and they put those bends in it that I asked. It was a little difficult. They ended up having to reverse the dies. They used the bottom die on the top, top die on the bottom. Anyways, it's got it pretty close here, really close to what I wanted. So now it'll just fit on here and my door will close. There you go. So it just fits like that. And then when we're traveling, flips up inside. So you can see there is a little bit of a gap there. Small gap, but not bad at all. And honestly, it could be further in. It's just the foam tape that's holding it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble it with the steps now, put the steps back on the bracket. And then what they have is a couple screws right here, uh, slots for screws with these plugs that pop out. So you can screw it down temporarily, just verify that you've got everything set up all right. Flip the stairs up and then mark all the slots and drill all the holes. They've got some real nice long bolts that come with it. So I think that'll go all the way through the channel that's down below the, the box. I think it's a two two by three box that's in here. 
uh, the frame of the trailer so that'll go right through that and I'll be able to have this well secured but let's uh, install those install the stairs and, and then try it out Okay, so we got this thing temporarily fixed to the the trailer right now. Now the next step is when it folds up, when these fold up, there needs to be this uh, this bracket here has got a lock on something. So these things can extend. You can put them out as far as you want, and then it's got a release here for the latch, but they got a they got a lock onto something like that. So that's where I'm going to put these in. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how yet. I'm thinking maybe one over here, one mounted like that, that'll lock on that side, and then same on this side, one that mounts the same idea over there. But I'm going to get this one mounted first, and then I'll, I'll figure out where that one is there. So let's make up a couple brackets and get this thing mounted up. So that's what those brackets look like. Just a little piece of angle iron, aluminum angle iron. Just rounded off the corners. And then on this side, same thing. So that catches the latch of the steps on both sides and holds it secure in there. So here, I'll just show you how it works. So here's the stair set up. Once it's all done, open it up, put the stairs in there, latched here and there, and release the latch. It's got the adjustable feet on it. You just pop the pin and adjust it to wherever you want. Different terrain. Pretty solid. time so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did uh, please like subscribe helps the channel, helps me to continue putting out these videos. Got lots more projects planned, some more modifications, got some solar to go on the roof, a lot of different things going on. So stick around and, and hopefully you learn something. And if you've got something to share, please let me know. I uh, enjoy your comments. A lot of your comments have helped me in the build of my trader, so I appreciate that. And thanks for watching.